Hi there. All right, so I want to give you an update on using TDCS uh, to learn a foreign language. Um, no matter what tools are out there that help cut your learning curve for learning any skill, uh, learning a new skill is time consuming and it takes a lot of dedication. So I will at least say that unfortunately at this time I am unable to dedicate the amount of time and effort necessary to this kind of endeavor. So I've put learning German on the back burner for a little while. Um, however, I do at least want to share what I have taken from the experience of attempting to learn it over the course of you know, the past several weeks. Um, first of all, I want to at least review some of the tools that I used uh, to learn. Uh, when I jumped into the endeavor, I wanted to jump in full on. So I got the Rosetta Stone program, I got the Pimsleur approach, I got a handful of uh, various um, websites that did free lessons, um, both uh, text-based and audio. Um, I will say that uh, Rosetta and Pimsleur have the highest ratings, uh, but unfortunately neither of them really met um, my particular criteria for uh, uh, being able to hold my attention. Rosetta Stone uh, has been extremely effective for thousands or possibly millions. Uh, that's why it's one of the biggest and best-selling programs out there. Uh, for me, it depended too much on rote memory learning, uh, so it was just like being in the classroom. Uh, and classroom learning works for a lot of people, um, but it, it didn't keep my attention. So it wasn't very long before I stopped using it. The Pimsleur approach was a little bit more effective because I do learn a lot better uh, through audio, uh, but even that w wasn't uh, very effective at keeping my attention because it wasn't interesting information. It was just, you know, this is how you say this, now you say it, this is how you say this, and it just it dragged on. All the lessons were really long. There are other programs out there, and interestingly enough, the ones that worked for me were free. Um, that are really good at you know providing novel ways uh, to learn uh, a foreign language uh, and it holds your interest so uh, my favorite uh, out of all the ones that I have come across uh, memorize.com m-e-m-r-i-s-e.com is great it has lots of different languages and it's a bunch of games that are very novel uh, they're cutely um, animated um, but they, they keep your interest and uh, I noticed that when I was using TDCS anodal stimulation to Wernicke's area while playing Memorize uh, wow um, I was in the zone I mean it was like I was on top of my game on test day every time it didn't matter if I worked a 12 hour straight shift and I was exhausted once I strapped that machine to my head and I got on that website I would play and play and play I consumed so much uh, vocabulary through that particular method um, so I have to say that if you're going to use something like TDCS uh, use a, a novel um, learning mechanism and memorize.com is definitely that now, if you're not in front of your computer, another way to get the information you desire is um, I downloaded an app on the Android network for uh, subscribing and playing uh, podcasts. And there's a German, there are several, several podcasts for learning German, but uh, the one that I really liked was uh, something called uh, Deutsche Welle, Deutsch Learning. Um, uh, it's just simply German podcasts. Um, and it was really good because the lessons were small enough to be bite-sized, but the information was also very relevant. Uh, it treated you like you were going to visit the country soon. So the things you would learn, you know, I missed my plane, how do I purchase a ticket, when's the next train, how far is it to this, you know, city, etc., etc. Um, so that worked and it was short enough for me to listen on my way to work. So um, these are definitely, in my opinion, effective methods. I know it would be make much more of an impression. It would be uh, more impactful if I were able to tell you all this while also saying, hey, you know, I'm really close to being fluent now. But unfortunately, that isn't the way it is. But from my a subjective point of view and learning anything, I feel like uh, there was a lot more ease of uh, consuming 
and digesting the information when I use TDCS with Memorize.com and when I listen to German podcasts. So uh, that is my update. Um, I will be taking on uh, some other experiments in the future, uh, hopefully ones that aren't as time-consuming or as energy-consuming as learning a foreign language. I recently ordered and got delivered EEG electrodes, so I'm going to attempt uh, an HD TDCS electrode setup. Anybody that may have information on exactly how to do that, uh, please leave me messages in the uh, comments uh, section because um, at this point I'm going in just kind of experimenting. Um, but either way, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I have a couple other nootropics I plan to review in the future. And uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, be well and do good things.